Hi Mel. Hi Mel's dad. How are you guys? Hi Allison. Okay, everybody, before we start, you have your water bottles. Can you go empty them to the line, please? You can see right on the water bottle, I took a Sharpie and I put a black line around it. Empty your water bottle to that line only. You need that much water in your bottle. You can't drink it. You can drink it, pour it or in a cup, do whatever. Do whatever you need to do. Just drink it. Start to you only need that much water. <laughs> Allie, did you do that? Darren, did you do that? There you go, YouTube. Somebody's waiting. We're going to get started here in a minute. We're just waiting for a couple more guys to tune in, okay? Thumbs up. Okay guys, we're gonna get started then. Sound good? Thumbs up? Can everybody hear me? Perfect. Okay, so we are going, if you guys happen to have a funnel, it'll be easier to pour your oil into the bottle. Oh look, Mel's prepared. Nice. There's something on that screen that's weird. Oh, that's gone. Is this gonna fit in the bottle? It can break in half. Okay. Um, so, we're gonna put the funnel in the top of the bottle. Does everybody see that? Can YouTube see that, Felix? Yep. All right. And then, we've got like a big jar of oil here. You guys might have two small jars. You just pour each of them in. Um, try to tilt the bottle so the oil goes down like the side of the bottle rather than straight in like, like a faucet. You know what I mean? Because it has to kind of mix in slowly. We're going to slowly pour our oil in there. You guys want to do that too? And then once you do that, you'll see how the water and the oil separate. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Then you can see that the water stays on the bottom, right? Only up to that line. Then the oil is on top. Has everybody got their Tom has a question? One second, Tom. What's up, Tom? Tom, how much water did I miss the Um 
You'll see on the water bottle that I sent that there's a, a black line I drew like about two inches from the bottom, right? Yeah. Um, empty out the water to that line only. You need about that much water only in the bottom. And then add the stuff. And then add the oil, yep. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna wait for Tom a second here, guys, sorry. Did uh, you guys know that the lava lamp was invented in 1948 by an English accountant named Edward Craven Walker? Apparently he was inspired by an egg timer in a pub made of a cocktail shaker filled with alien looking liquids bubbling on a stovetop. And then it took him another 15 years to perfect his design. Travis is in the background making lots of noise. So if that's what you hear, blame him. Okay? Just saying. Tom, you're back. Did you empty your water to that point? Thumbs up. Is everybody, is everybody ready for the next step? Okay, now we're going to take the food coloring that we sent you. Be careful with the food coloring because if it gets on stuff, it could stain really, really bad, right? So be very, very careful. And then we're going to drip probably about five drops in there or so, somewhere around there. So be careful, don't squeeze it, just do like little drips, so. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll see that the um, food coloring gets coated with the oil so it's not gonna like spread apart, right? It's not gonna like spread out and turn everything that color. So it's just gonna stay kind of down there like little balls. So it looks like, kind of like you're drinking bubble tea or something. I don't know if you guys ever had bubble tea and had tapioca balls in it, but that's kind of what it looks like. Did everybody do that? Once everybody's done that, can you give me a thumbs up so I know? So continue. I've got another cool lava. I have another cool lava lump fact for you guys. The original lava lump was called an astro globe. Uh, it then became known as a lava light after the company who bought the U.S. manufacturing rights called it the lava light before being known by the name it's known by today, the lava lamp. And lava lamps and fingerprints all have something in common. Like there's no two lava lamps that are exactly the same. Like they always like produce like the light and like the shapes inside completely different than any other one. I don't know how they figure that out. Maybe somebody has a lot of time on their hands to sit and watch them. I don't know. But, okay, everybody's got your food coloring in your bottle? Yeah, looks like everyone's ready. Thumbs up. Okay, now we're going to take our Alka-Seltzer. It's in the uh, little package there that we sent you guys. It's not gonna fit in the top of the water bottle like that one whole piece. So we're just gonna break it in half and we're gonna drop both pieces in at the exact same time. See what I did there? I just broke it in half. I'm just gonna place them together like that. And then this is where the magic happens. Once you drop it in there, okay? So I'm gonna drop mine in. So on the count of three, We'll all drop our Alka-Seltzer in the bottle and then you're gonna see some chaos go down, okay? One, two, 
three, go. You might need some more food. Oh, no, you don't. Here it goes. Yeah, you probably need a little bit more food coloring in there, but it's working. How's that working for you guys? See that? That's pretty much what a lava lamp looks like exactly. I want to hold it up and show the show you guys a little bit closer here. Pretty neat, eh? Then once the alcohol salts are words away, you just kind of are left with like the little bubbles in there of like food coloring and oil. Another cool uh, fact about lava lamps, the uh, lamps were originally intended to be a luxury item before it was picked up by hippies in the swinging 60s, set as a psychedelic accessory. As they were, you know, having peaceful marches, so to say. Who am I here? I seen like Austin Powers movies and all that stuff. Because the um, sales of uh, lava lamps actually went down dramatically in the late 70s, but um, once the movie Austin Powers came out, the uh, lava lamp sales like apparently went up like 120%. People started buying them way more again. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. We can hear you. We can't see you. And did you guys know that the most expensive lava lamp was sold for over fifteen thousand dollars? Where, Sean? Where? I have got no clue. <laughs> but why don't we see you? Well, you can see me. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Can you see the lava lamp? Another Alka-Seltzer? Okay, yeah. Will it go again? Yeah. Should grab another one for Kaylee? Sure. Can, can you go find some more alka -Seltzer. We're going to throw in... We're going to throw in another Alka-Seltzer here just so you guys can get it going again. And we're also going to put in more food coloring too. And that way Kaylee can see it. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do another tablet. I'm going to put in a couple more drops of our food coloring though, okay? I put in five more drops. Sorry, we probably should have sent home a couple of alkyl seltzers each for you guys. I thought it would last a little bit longer, but... Sean got some indigestion. And yeah, I ate a bunch because I had some, you know, I had some, I had some bad wonton soup earlier, so... Didn't sit well. Here we go. I'm dropping in another Alka Seltzer. Oh boy, here we go. That one's working better. Look at this one. Do you guys see that? It's working pretty good. Did you see that, Kaylee? See how it's going? Uh, yeah. Me and my brother. You and your brother. Yeah. Your brother's name is Eamon, right? Hi, Eamon. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to try something. I'm, I'm taking our water bottle here. I'm going to tip it over, see what happens. You know what? We can't drink it anyways. Let's see what happens if I mix it all up. See? 
See, the oil and the water stay separated. Do you guys see that? So it's pretty much, this is the thing that you guys can probably keep in your room for a while or whatever too. And every time you want to like check it out, just um, put another oven sauce we'd have. But, but just make sure that your um, lid is on tight because you don't want to tip it over and then you spill oil everywhere. Mom and dad would probably not be very happy. Look at dad, see? Right, Mel? See? Dad's already shaking his head, no deal. Bad advice, Sean. Why say that? <laughs> um, the largest lava lamp, definitely not the one we have here, ever made is four feet tall and holds 10 gallons of lava formula. I think I've seen some of those at like stores like Spencer Gifts and all that stuff where they sell like novelty stuff, right? I'm gonna do the whole tip it over again. Hey Kaylee, did um, you get yours going? Okay, sounds good. Um, oh, cool. Did you guys know that there's a, that there's a lava lamp on permanent display in the Smithsonian Museum? Where is that located, Sean? I believe that's in New York City. I haven't been there? I've never been there. That's why I'm not sure where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, I guess, right? I've got a bunch of jokers around me today. Um, uh, so, do you guys have any questions or anything about how uh, lava lamps may work? Or Don't. Where, or where you can buy them or how yeah, much they cost. Them. Sean's got all your answers. Oh, cool. Amazon, $24. Amazon, 24 bucks, Taylor says. True. Just about take your parents' Amazon. credit card and <laughs> shop, shop, shop. Oh, no. Kaylee, he's just joking. Kaylee, that's a joke. <laughs> Tom? Go put your dad's credit card away. <laughs> I'm fooling around. I don't even have it. Well, that's good, because he hides it well. What do you think, Sean? Let's, let's see. 